All right. Um, hey, Dr. St. Janice from John Doppling, Doppling, and Doppling Hanger. Uh, I'm sorry, John. I just murdered your name. Um, your name's harder to spell than, or uh, pronounce my name. You said last stream that there are some problems with the traditional Latin mass. Can you go detail with that? The trad seem to hold that TLM is absolutely perfect. Well, yeah, I said it last time. Um, I hate to pick on the mass, but you know, since we have two masses, you know, inevitably they're going to be compared and contrasted. So, you know, that's just the nature of the beast. And um, well, I believe that Pentecost showed us the paradigm when the apostles spoke in the languages of the people. So I want to get deep here. This is the new covenant. This is not the old where we spoke Hebrew. This is the new covenant where we speak the language of the people. And so there were 15 different nations gathered at Pentecost and they were spoken to in 15 different languages. Okay. I believe that's the paradigm that the church should follow. And she did, because in the first centuries, we either spoke, we either had the mass in Greek or we had it in Latin. And what were they? The vernacular, the language of the people. Okay. And then we had the gospel go out just like it did in Pentecost. And what did we do? We spoke the language of the people. You can't preach the gospel in Latin to someone who doesn't know Latin. Okay, now a lot of people did know Latin. Okay, in the in Verons and around uh, Italy. Um, but when you get out further, you know, they don't necessarily speak Latin. They speak their own language. So we have, what, two, over 200 languages in the, in the world now. So the whole premise of the gospel was to speak to the people in their own language. Okay. And the church did that. But then the Latin became a dead language. And the church preserved it for academic reasons. And her major dogmas were written in Latin. That's okay. I understand that. I have no problem with that. But, but to with, but to insist upon the Latin when it is a dead language, and the people of the world have so many different languages, and it's just as easy to say the mass in their language, and. The whole reason you had Latin in the beginning was you put it in the vernacular. Well, what happened to that principle? Why don't you put it in the vernacular now so that people can understand it? Every single word. Um, they don't have to guess. Well, what does that Latin word mean? And, you know, uh, or, or repeat Latin like, like a mantra without even knowing what they're saying or they have a general idea, but they don't know exactly what the words mean. And um, why go through all that? Why is it wrong to put it in the vernacular? Now, some people say that the Pope forbid it to be put in the vernacular. Um, I don't think that's exactly correct. Um, and the whole, the whole gospel paradigm was set up at Pentecost, where we put the gospel in the language of the people. So to me, if we don't do that, then somehow we are 
not fulfilling the mandate that was given to us. And the, the Mass, of course, is the highest liturgy we have. I understand the problem because if you have clowns saying the Mass in English, then, of course, you just ruin the whole thing. Okay? Or if you have women parading around the altar, you just ruin the whole thing. Okay? And so many other abuses that are in the middle of sort of Masses. And this is the one reason I go to the Latin Mass because I'm not going to put up with that malarkey. Because if the, the last thing I want to see is desecration at the Mass, uh, even if it's not even a t even if they would want to bring their, you know, comedians in or their dancers or whatever, and they, they don't intend to desecrate, that's because they're not educated. They are desecrating it. Okay, so I understand all that problem with the Novus Ordo. But um, to think the TLM is, you know, like you say, absolutely perfect. Yeah, I know these people are just, it's like it dropped out of heaven. It didn't. Okay, so, um, yeah, I have a problem with that. Especially for children. The children hearing Latin, it's like, yeah, some families sort of just groove right into it. I understand that. Okay. They just, but I'm just talking about the average kid who goes to the mass and hears this Latin, doesn't know what's being said. And you, you can't stop and tell them, of course, yeah, we have the books there, but why make it so hard? If you're going to give them the English in the book, why not give them the English in the mass? I mean, the, the Latin is not some special sanctified language that the Holy Spirit gave us that dropped out of heaven somehow that can't be improved upon that can't um, be compared to it's just that's all in people's minds they've made it all up about the Latin okay so <clears throat> yeah, I would agree you know for academic reasons if you want to put dogmas in Latin so that every country can have the same language and you have the scholars who know the Latin can dicker over this. Yeah, that's great. Okay. Um, my cat's calling me, and I've got to go. I've only got halfway down this list here. So, 